I'm really worried about my brother. Day three since anyone's seen him. Nobody knows whether he's alive or dead. There's a fear on the family's part that he's been radicalised. I'm grieving my son. He's not dead. He's completely dead to me. I'm just so angry. We're in a race against time with these. It's a race we may have already lost. But what do you do when the guys become nothing? Become thin air? That there are certain things most radicalised people have in common. Because he was being bullied last year. He's a loser. He's never going to be nothing. That was a completely different person to the guy who came back from holidays. That's behaviour change. He just left you this note. I finally found something I want to be part of. Be proud of me. Always on his own, on the laptop. I don't know how some of this stuff gets through the firewall. It remains to be seen with Tarek how much of this could have been recognised beforehand. How much was missed? Anxiety, self-harm, depression. He was hurting him, burning him with cigarettes. He's a liar. Look at 9-11, 7-7, the recent it's attack. Them. It's, it's not... all still happening. It's all going on right under our noses. Being drawn in by promises of a better life, a better world. I need an IT forensics officer here as soon as possible, please. It's like trying to get a fingerprint off a memory. I mean, that requires compliance. It's self-monitoring, right? They're terrified of what people will think. You know he had a distant cousin who went to Syria. It's a threat based off of some propaganda. Bombing innocent civilians because of some warped ideology. Oh, but that's okay because they're in planes paid for by taxpayers. What is that? He's just arriving at City Airport. Can you see him here anywhere at all? You tell them they don't belong long before they get radicalised. You've left them no option. That's such a get-out clause. We're all in this together. You will never stop us. 